Hello, y'all. Welcome to class. Class is in session. The professor is in. We are taking a look at King Seamus at six star. And I know it says a five star on the screen right there. Uh, I don't have him at six star. Uh, but my buddy Park was uh, kind enough to record uh, some gameplay. So I'm going to show that in just a second. So uh, I'm going to show you uh, the most effective build as well as uh, Seamus with uh, his plate and what his plate uh, can do. Now, I don't have a good title on him, um, but if we go to someone who has, you don't have a good title on you either. Things aren't looking good so far for the professor, but if you take a look at the plate itself, so his plate, uh, whenever you make four more cross break gems, you're going to increase your red gem damage by 150% and your green move damage by 50% for two turns. Now, it's important to keep that in mind as we're going through what Seamus can do uh, because uh, in the video, um, you're only going to get to see one turn of Seamus um, and he's going to do um, uh, decent damage, um, but you need to keep in mind that the next time that Seamus will do damage, there will be 200% more uh, red gem damage uh, and some more green move damage and so Seamus at six star bronze will scale well and if there is a boss battle that has cross break gems he'll be able to do a lot of damage there with his plate as it continually uh, recycles so turn one will do uh, modest to decent damage Turn two completely recycles, going to do more damage and so on and so forth as the plate continues to um, go off. So keep that in mind as you see uh, the rest of the video. Um, let's go look at it. So this is going to be the ideal move set for King Seamus. So you're going to give him the the finisher, which deals uh, 200k damage, makes seven cross breaks into reds, and then you're going to use the double green. So you're going to uh, choose seven gems to make into red gems but then you're also going to flood the board with 21 cross break gems um, so mp trainers for this one uh, you are going to be using uh, double mp uh, trainers to get him going so these are both green mp trainers uh, animal um, and tyler breeze uh, and then what you're also going to then use um and this is where you know he's it's these are a little bit rare trainers for some most people aren't going to have uh, masters of the universe andre but if you do he has a hundred percent more cross break gem damage uh, but there'll be another video after another match after this one that'll show less uh rare trainers uh, and snoop does um uh, gem damage uh so those are the two that we would use for this so we'll, we'll play it through so you can see uh, just how well he works and on his strap you can see it has his plate and a couple of sets of fury twos uh, with an armor uh, metal on it as well so going up against uh, ivar now in feud um with perks and tour perks you're going to see that only a um only a five matches needed during tours in order to get the finisher uh, going, but during a feud you would need to make another match as well. So you would do a five match and then a swipe, and then you'd be able to uh, put these uh, cross break gems down uh, and then hit the finisher. The finisher's going to turn seven of them uh, into red gems and then blow up the board. So you can see that did about. 2.15 uh, million um, per hit completely recycles itself so you can see that it's a very effective um, build but disappointing a little bit in uh, the amount of damage that it can do um, so 2 million a turn is definitely not going to be uh, enough to keep anybody down at 6 star um, so let's try another move set right now where we're going to uh, look at swapping out for less uh, rare trainers in this case um, so someone like um, like zombie Cena right here who gives 25% more and one more cross break so we'll make 22 instead of 21 uh, and snoop so rather than really buffing that red uh, damage um, 
you can look to make more gems. So if you had somebody like um, a Hall of Fame, um, Hall of Fame Trish, uh, oh sorry, that's Hall of Fame Lita. Hall of Fame Lita, you would be able to uh, create more gems and do a little bit more gem damage. And what you'll see is that um, the difference between the two builds in terms of damage uh, is not very much. Um, again, so you'd have to do uh, a five match and create another match that you could uh, then use. So now you're creating nine gems uh, instead of seven. So you can flood the board with more red gems. And so if you're able to do that, then you would be able to um, get more damage closer to where the Andre, Motu Andre build will get you. Um, but you'll see that it still hits roughly about 2 million. So the difference between the two is not that great. So that point, you know, there's only about a, um, a 500,000 uh, difference between the two. So that was King Seamus. Uh, and you can see that um, given another uh, couple of turns, uh, his move damage, sorry, his move and his gem damage uh, would greatly increase with his plate. Um, but even still, you're going to have to uh, survive a couple of turns to to do the good stuff with him. Um, so um, let me know what you think uh, in the comments. Um, otherwise, um, I have started uh, streaming on Twitch. So uh, follow the links in the description uh, and come in and check out the, the Twitch streams. And if you found this video to be uh, informative, um, please uh, let me know with a like. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do that as well, too. That really helps me out. And uh, I will see you all next time. And if you have any other requests uh, for characters, please also let me know. And I'll do my best to get a video out uh, for the community. Professor is out. Class is over.